entspannen. Relax, enjoy life, get back to nature. It's the journey and there's no need to speed. That's becoming the mantra on world trips. But for those who can't decide between the journey and speed, Offroad Leichtbau Manufaktur has just the vehicle. 290 HP, it tips the scale at 7.5 tons and there's a terrace on top. Appearance and reality. Normally a man TGM 13 290 like this puts you in the heavyweight class. But when do off-road Leichtbau Manufaktur do anything that could be considered normal? In any case, the OLM Carbon World Cruiser is several tons lighter than it appears to be. And that's despite the fact that it carries along all kinds of imaginable comforts within its 5 meter long superstructure. High strength composites such as carbon fibre, aramid and epoxy resin made it almost possible to stick to the 7.5 tonne mark. But with so many ticks on the options list, the World Cruiser did actually end up several hundred kilograms heavier. Air conditioning, multifunctional oven, electric underfloor heating, washing machine, the 375 amp hour battery bank, all these things were reasons contributing to overshooting the limit. Nevertheless, it does prove one thing. Lightweight construction is also possible at this scale, even if it is expensive. But, on the other hand, you can move along at a really good pace. The TGM 1390 is the bread and butter vehicle amongst the expedition campers. It has enough power to easily move even 11 and 12 ton vehicles, but of course it really only starts to be a lot of fun to drive if the vehicle is light enough, like it is in this case. We are not moving much more than 8 tons. Naturally, you notice how enjoyable it is to drive straight away. We're really moving along. There are no complaints when it comes to the driving performance. The cabin is stable and doesn't suddenly develop a disturbing life of its own. Naturally, the low height of 3 meters 45 also helps. And above all, of course, the weight. This is a clear advantage even on off-road tracks like this, because the MAN is designed for tougher conditions. Thanks to air suspension on the rear axle, the angle of slope is not a limiting factor. And now that the projectile is already at a standstill, Martin immediately shows off the features of the Berliner. So let's have a look at the giant from all four sides. The entry ladder has now become a signature feature. It also doubles as the door. There's this large storage space directly next to the entrance, which fits two e-bikes. The truck is fitted with 365 80R20 tires on bedlock rims. There's camera monitoring all the way around, including proximity sensors. And what has worked particularly well here is that the structure of the driver's cab has been extended through to the cabin, so the vehicle looks very uniform. There are two 280-liter fresh water tanks and two 280-liter diesel tanks, arranged symmetrically and laminated in carbon. This small storage space at the back here is also made of carbon. The spare wheel is installed on a slant to ensure a good ramp angle. It can be taken off using a small cable winch. It's maintenance free and simple to operate. The absolute highlight is naturally the terrace for dinner in the Kalahari. The highlight is naturally the terrace for the dinner in the Kalahari. That's if you have the leisure to enjoy dinner, because the OLM Carbon World Cruiser is also something for people who just love a gimmick or two. To get easy access to the two e-bikes, they are pretty heavy, the whole lift can be lowered. So you pull it out here and then you have to lock it into place. And then I can lower the entire thing bit by bit. Next up, the interior design review. The central hub of this vehicle is the kitchenette. It really is located in the center of the camper. There's a large oven with a microwave function next to the entrance, powered with 230 volts. The induction hob is also electric. It's here under the worktop. It's a good 1 meter 40, so there's ample working space. 
There is also a large sink and a drawer and cupboards lock in place without any locks. Und die Schubladen und Schränke haben Verschlüsse ohne Verschlüsse. In the rear of this almost 8 meter long vehicle is an enormous seating area. It is 1 meter 90 long and features a sliding table that's 1 meter 40. By the way, it's the only piece of wood to be seen in this vehicle. It's not wood veneer. Underneath is carbon fiber composite naturally. This means that there is no permanent bed. It's hidden up the top here. The size of the lift bed is 1 meter 95 centimeters long and 1 meter 70 wide. The width is pretty standard, but it could have been a few centimeters longer. The lift bed is operated using a shutter motor and it is fixed at the rear with two aluminium rails so that it doesn't start to swing. The battery department is located here under the seating area. There are six lithium batteries in parallel and switched in series. Each are 12 volts, 125 amps. So at 24 volts we have 375 amp hours of usable battery capacity. What could be called the utilities area is located in the middle of the vehicle, while the living room is situated at the back. The practical things of life can be found here. For example, there is a washing machine with 3 kilo capacity hidden away here and also the bicycle shed. Naturally, you can only see the cladding here. Everything has been nicely laminated, filled and then painted in metallic silver. Once again, there are lockers without locks. So, there is a lot of storage space for everything that you need. Hidden here at the front of the vehicle, right next to the entry to the driver's cab, is the bathroom. I can shut the door to the passageway and then I have a large shower. The drain has been integrated into the floor. And everything else has been integrated too. The wash basin is connected to the toilet, which then turns into the storage space. Everything is made of laminated carbon and then painted. By the way, there is no gas on board, but a lot of electricity for cooking and cooling. The solar panels covering the entire roof supply the network with 1200 watts. You should probably take a long holiday if you want to study the many extras. A little side detail. These are the operating instructions just for the electrics and electronics that have been installed in the vehicle. I reckon that's around 5 kilos. Which you would have been able to save if you were able to keep it all in your head. Also light, the triple plastic windows from Hunekopf. The large frames are a matter of taste. If you would like to have a similar lightweight construction built in Berlin, you will have to pay at least 425,000 euros. Without the truck, mind you. The man is another 80,000 euros on top. If some savings had been made a little on the lavish equipment, it might have been possible to keep to the 7.5 tonnes, even with full tanks. And that's, well, pretty amazing to put it mildly. Appearance and reality, both are very different on the Carbon World Cruiser. Just like the bigger brother from the same company, this monster weighs only 10 tonnes, and the cabin only contributes one tonne of that. A lighter Unimog 6x6 would be pretty hard to find with this luxurious interior. That's because, from the bidet to the air conditioning, from the steamer to the induction cooker, there's really everything on board. But the price is also about half a million euros. Check out the test here on our channel. This Ram 2500 drives in a completely different weight class and was also developed at the hands of off-road Leichtbau Manufaktur. The weight of the cabin, including interior fittings, technology and tanks, 480 kilograms. Yes, lightweight construction is possible. However, it's not really affordable for the majority. We've also tested the Ram with a carbon cabin.
For those who have developed a taste for it, we've also tested heavier, but no less interesting representatives of the big class. The films are available here on our channel.